your behavior creates your brand. Your behavior determines what people say about you. What people say about you is your brand. So obviously the question is, what do people say about you? And if you've got people saying positive things about you, then you will actually be able to grow your business. Now, the best way I can illustrate the, the brand experience is that <clears throat> I mentioned Starbucks earlier on as a, a famous uh, black drink. But as you can appreciate, being an Irishman, I actually do like another famous black drink, which some of you probably thought I was talking about earlier on. But just out of curiosity, I'm talking about Guinness. How many Guinness drinkers do we have here in this room? Quite a few. OK, we've got brothers and sisters in arms. OK, rocking. All right. <laughs> right. Now, for those of you who are Guinness drinkers will know, and those of you who are not Guinness drinkers may not know, but the pouring of the pint of Guinness genuinely is an art. Guinness will tell you that to pour, to pour the perfect pint of Guinness will take 119.5 seconds. And actually when you're thirsty, 119.5 seconds is a long time. <laughs> um, but the difference between pouring a pint of Guinness and a regular pint of beer like uh, Bud or Miller is that to pour the perfect pint of Guinness, the barman needs to take the, the pint glass, hold it at about a 60 de degree angle to the, the tap, Fill the glass to about uh, two-thirds full. Leave the glass uh, down on the countertop where you will actually see the wonderful swirling clouds. And what's actually happening there is you've got some kind of Guinness orphan bubbles trying to find some solace in some Guinness wonderland. <laughs> and after about a, a minute and a half, you've got a lovely creamy head at this two-third point in the glass. Then the barman will take the glass up top it up carefully, and what you should have is a beautifully creamy top with no bubbles on the top of it, and then the barman will hand it out with care and attention to the drooling patron. <laughs> right, so it takes time to do that. Now, why am, I talk, talk, why am I illustrating that? Two reasons for that. One is that Guinness understands that even before the consumption of the product, the creation of the product and the, ex the experience starts even before the consumption of the product. And it puts a lot of effort into trying to, try to train its bar staff and bar personnel to pour the perfect pint of Guinness. Guinness isn't just a product, it's an experience. And that, me boy, oh, is what you've got to offer your customers with your product and with your service. You've got to offer them an experience. Jake, think about it. Harley Davidson doesn't sell motorcycles. Harley Davidson sells the sense of rebellion the roar, the throttle, the sense of freedom. That's what Harvey, Harley Davidson sells. Think about a Apple computers or Apple Inc. Apple just doesn't sell computers or iPhones. It sells hip, chic, modern. And Starbucks, Starbucks just doesn't sell coffee. It sells the sense of ambience, community, and the sense of involvement. Jake, what is it that you sell? What is the customer experience or what is the brand experience that you sell? Because if you don't create a customer experience or you don't create a brand experience, you're not going to have customers returning to you. Now, I do think that if Fimber Kozlowski, that Irishman, was here this morning, the question he would ask you is, what is the customer experience or what is the brand experience that you are creating? And if you've got a clear idea and are living the brand experience that you want to create and are making that happen, you have a much better chance of being successful. But my challenge to you is to ask yourself, are you clear as to what the customer experience is you're trying to create? Are you clear what the brand experience is that you're trying to create? And w when you create that brand experience, you're not just creating a commercial transaction, you're creating an emotional transaction. I mean, just think about it for a second. Uh, Starbucks. There's people out uh, here this morning who are rushing to work, who are uh, honking the car in front of them, who are flipping the board at the car in front that hasn't gone through the yellow light. And then that car driver who is anxious and giving out about the this, uh, this speed of traffic, he then, then takes time out to stop at a Starbucks drive through where there's 12 cars in front of him, and it's 10 minutes later that he actually gets his uh, low-fat decaffeinated frappuccino with extra added cream and goes back out to honk at the car in front again that didn't go through the yellow light. Yet what Starbucks has done there is that it's created not just a commercial transaction, it's created an emotional transaction.
And that's why people want to go to places like Starbucks. Another company that, makes, uh, that really believes in this emotional uh, transaction, some of you may well actually be purchasing products from them. Just out of curiosity, does anyone buy product here from Zappos? Okay, quite a few of you, mainly ladies, okay? How would you reckon the service? Are you happy with the service? All right, Zappos is probably is deemed to be one of the very best customer service companies in the world. And if you want to read two, uh, two good books on customer service, read the book by the Zappos CEO. Uh, it's uh, called Delivering Happiness. It is a really powerful book. And it will help you to understand the power of delivering happiness and how to generate good customer service. The other book that I would recommend you read is, uh, Howard Schultz has written uh, two books, but his first book was titled, uh, Pour Your Heart Into It. Pour Your Heart Into It. And you will see in that book, this was written about uh, 12, 13 years ago when Starbucks was still relatively small, but Howard Schultz had a clear goal and a clear vision of what Starbucks is going to be about. He had in here as well the passion, and it's that passion that will really determine whether or not you're going to be successful with your business and driving this customer service ethos through the organization. But it's not just a commercial transaction you want to create, you want to try and create an emotional transaction. And in a sense, I would actually call it uh, an emotional transaction, ET. If you can create that ET moment, if you can figure out how to create that ET moment, you will grow your business. You will get more and more satisfied customers. And as you get more and more satisfied customers, they're going to return to you. You'll get brand ambassadors, and you will grow your business. Now, I said I will give you one exercise on the brand uh, and behavior. Your behavior creates your brand. Your behavior determines what people say about you. What people say about you is your brand. I would like you to write down on the back of that business card that you've taken out, and then I'm going to ask you to put it back into your driving, with your driving license or credit card. <coughs> write down the three words you would like your customers or your clients to say about you after they have dealt with you today. Write down the three words you would like your customers or your clients to say about you after they have dealt with you today. I'll just give you about two minutes to do that. I'm not going to ask you what they are. I'm going to ask you to put it back in with your driving license. And when you've got those three words uh, down, put it in with your driving license or with, in with your uh, credit uh, card so that when you go to the gas station or you go to the supermarket or the restaurant uh, this evening or tomorrow, you can say to yourself, hmm, would my clients or customers use any of those three words to describe me today? Those three words that you're writing down are your brand promise. The brand promise doesn't happen just by accident. You've got to actually live it. But if you can actually say genuinely that at the end of the day, I've got customers that will say those three things about me, you've then generated your brand promise. So goals, attitudes, behavior.